Range fans, range fans, I'm back out here. This time on the pistol range, and you've seen this one before, the Taurus 44 Magnum. You guys enjoyed, hopefully, a video with me that took this thing over 1,000 rounds. Now it's 16 years old, so it took me a long time to get there. But Taurus, as I stated in that particular video, has been crucified out on the net about quality, 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 quality. But a good buddy of mine said, hey man, you know what? With their new CEO, I think they've really turned it around and people really need to give them a chance. They're nice, they're equitable. They may not be as refined from machine marks, like you said, of others, but still people are missing the point. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, dude, you missed the point that Taurus doesn't resell aftermarket parts. There's no one out there that resells aftermarket parts. And so you have to put up with that atrocious trigger you talked about, the 12 pound double action and seven to eight pound single action. Are you kidding me, he said. Seven to eight pound single action. Hey, I'm telling you, that's what the RCBS trigger gauge said. So I went looking around and sure enough, I couldn't find much of anything. And this, uh, this wide trigger, man, it is really, really nice, but I eventually did find a spring set from, what is it, Galloway Precision. Gallowayprecision.com had a spring set. Yep, I am out here to test these spring sets to see if it's reliable because the trigger weight now, do you believe this, is down to eight pounds double action from 12 pounds and down to two and a half to three pounds on the single action. That is just amazing to me that it made that much of a difference. Now, will it set off all the primers? I have no idea. Here on the bench with me today, I've got some mixed primers, Federal, CCI, and also Winchester primers of my own hand loads. But then I've got some Elite Sig Sauer Factory. I've got some Hornady Handgun Hunter that I wanna put across the chronograph because it says these things are screaming at 1400 feet per second. And then I've got some 180 PMCs. Will the Galloway Precision Spring Set light off all of those different rounds? I don't know, but I want you to hang in there with me because we are going to see. And folks, changing those springs, really, really easy. As a matter of fact, I think it was a lot easier than changing the springs on the Smith & Wesson. If you saw a previous video, I did a spring chain set on a Smith & Wesson 625. You got to have some special tools, etc., to make that happen. I believe to do it in the right way or the easiest way possible. On this thing, screwdriver. Take off the side plate, replace the springs. Simple as that. It was really easy to do. Well, I tell you what, let's get going and see if this is a train wreck or a match made in heaven. All right, folks, I've got six rounds, six rounds. I've got CCI primer, Federal primer, and Winchester primer all in this cylinder. Same load, folks. Same freedom pill, same amount of powder, just different primers intentionally to see. Well, will ignite them all. Here we go. Seven yards away, folks. Double action. <laughs> yes, it ignited them all. Galloway Precision. I don't feel so bad mentioning that name now, but Galloway Precision, folks. Hey, and I'm telling you, with this wide trigger, oh my goodness, this wide trigger even makes it feel lighter than eight and a half to nine pounds. I was coming in eight and a nine, eight and a half to nine pounds on the RCBS trigger gauge, uh, depending on how I worked it or how I maneuvered it. But over five pulls, when I give you a trigger gauge weight, it's generally an average over five pulls. That's how I test. But man, I tell you what, hey, let's get the chronograph set up and test out these factory loads. Be right back. All right, range fans, we've got 180 grain PMC bronze in this thing, 44 Magnum, Taurus 44, 
six inch barrel or maybe five inch barrel. Look at the previous video and you'll understand why I say five inch barrel. The shroud is six inches, but the barrel with the expansion chamber, the barrel is actually five inches. I explained it all in the previous video. Anyways, let's see if the Galloway Precision will ignite PMC bronze and see what these things do from seven yards away across the chronograph. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Single action this time. That way I don't shoot my chronograph. Ooh, dead center. 1,550. 1,530. The low. 1,516. I think that was six. Was it six, folks? I think it was. One thousand five hundred sixteen. That's what I forget in believing it was six. Okay, that's six that time. Hey, you know what? The primers are a little bit flat on these things. Interesting. We'll show you the speeds and feeds. I can't see it from here with these readers on. We'll show you the speeds and feeds back over at dayattherange.com. Let's load up some SIG performance. Oh, you saw it. The Taurus M44 single action and double action with my hand loads, Federal, CCI, Winchester, then single action, it lit off PMC factory 180s. Man, they were cooking at about 1500 feet per second. Now we've got some SIG Elite Performance Ammunition, SIG V-Crown, 240 grains loaded up in this thing. We're gonna put across the chronograph. I just like collecting data. Hope you all enjoy it with me to see if Galloway Precision will ignite SIG. <laughs> Seven yards away. We're gonna do a double action this time. One thousand three hundred thirty four. One thousand three hundred forty nine. One thousand three hundred fifty five. One thousand three hundred fifty seven. Uh-oh, light strike. 1,348. This thing is definitely shooting, but you saw a light strike. Let's see, where was it? Was it? Yeah, interesting. I don't know what just happened. I've got one round left. Was that the light strike? I see no primer indentation at all. Oh boy. Did I break something? Let's go. 1, that was a strange event. I expected to have something with a primer strike in it, but that was very light. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, we're gonna have to review that footage. Hey, I'm not gonna hide anything. Show it to you the way that I see it here on Day at the Range. That's what makes this so exciting, folks. You're gonna see it, no editing, just like I see it. Hey, let's move on to these Hornady handgun hunters and see what we get. All right, folks, we got the Hornady handgun hunter with this monoflex material in it. This is what I wanted to chronograph, 200 grainers. 
seven yards away. Let's put him across the chronograph. Here we go. One thousand four hundred seven. One thousand three hundred ninety three. Nothing. Another light strike. One thousand four hundred thirteen. One thousand four hundred thirty. Interesting. Two light strikes, folks. No, you know what? Is this cylinder? Did I put this thing back together right? Is this cylinder rotating back? Because I've got two rounds here with no primer marks on it at all. Uh, is it tightened? Is it working away loose? Let's see here. One thousand three hundred eighty eight. One thousand three hundred ninety one. You saw it, folks, and I'm going to show it to you. Strange. Galloway precision. I tell you what, I'm impressed with the springs, but I've got to make sure this thing is one hundred percent. So obviously we're going to do some more testing with this thing at another date, another time. Miss Elio's waiting for me to go carpet shopping, folks. Oh, my gosh. Wish me luck. I'm going home. Rage fans. Oh, before I go home, let me show you this bad boy. That's right. The bad boy. 44 Magnum. I got 180 grain PMC stoked up in this thing, and I wanted to see from seven yards what kind of velocity gain I would get over the Taurus. Here we go, folks. Single action. Nice trigger. One thousand six hundred. Oh, yeah. One thousand eight hundred eighty one. Seventeen thirty one. Seventeen hundred feet per second. Ooh, it's hitting hard. One thousand six hundred seventy-seven. One thousand six hundred seventy-seven. Seventeen thirty-one. Oh yeah, six shot from the old bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> what you gonna do? Woo! Forty-four Magnum. A lot of fun out on the range today. But you know what? Galloway Precision Springs. I don't think it's me. I noticed something with the Taurus. I don't know if the cylinder's not locking. Maybe I don't have this thing tight enough. My screwdriver says it does. But I know on the when I fired and it didn't go off, it was on an empty chamber. So I'm not sure what took place there. I took it apart here on the range, put it back together. Let's put six more rounds through it and see how we end up. Got the old Taurus back out, dayattherange.com, target down there. If you want to see the velocities printed out from this of the factory ammo and with the bad boy, yeah, I know I told you I was going home, but I had to make sure that it wasn't some sort of thing where I put this revolver back together maybe incorrectly or something wasn't quite tight. So I've taken it apart, put it all back together, and I've got six rounds. Federal primer, CCI primer, and Winchester primer loaded up in here. And we're going to go for the top of, no, we're going to go at the dayattherange.com. We're going to go at the dayattherange.com cylinder. Double action. Here we go. 
fired all of them off. I think it was me. Hey, look, if you're looking for some springs, I'm convinced. Galloway Precision. We're going to put a lot more through this Taurus that I'll share with you all, of course. Hope you enjoyed the video to make sure that Galloway Precision is treating us right. Now it's time to go home. Oh, I couldn't let you go home. One of my buddies showed up. Look at this thing. Is it beautiful or what? Only the second time in my life I've held one, let alone fired one. M1 carbine. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, is that nice or what? Oh, M1 carbine, folks. I'm going home.